Hey y'all, it's Tashayla and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come to y'all today with a natural hair video. This is going to be three styles that I use when I don't feel like twisting my hair up at night and I just wake up the next morning with stretched hair, probably from a twist out or whatever. And I just wanted to show you guys what I do. Um, this is going to be kind of like off the top of my head, so I'm not going to do a talk through. I'm just going to stop talking right now and let you guys enjoy the video. So first I want to start off by parting my hair in two sections with a rat tail comb. And I'm going to part it in front and back sections just to make it a little easier. And you want to make sure that you start kind of behind your crown so that you can bring that hair forward. Now I'm just going in with a wide tooth comb and detangling my hair in the back. And I'm going to do the same thing to the front two sections. Then I spray my leave-in on each section, and that's the Keratin Leave-In by Apple G. So I'm just doing that with the other side as well. Now I'm going to start two strands twisting my hair. And as you can see, I don't care that it's messy because we'll go back in and fix that later. But yeah, you just want to unleash each section and just start twisting it all around your head and make sure that you're staying close by the perimeter of your head as close as you can also make sure that when you end the braid twist it going up so it can go behind that twist then you just want to tuck everything in with a bobby pin yeah just any unruly areas now you want to go in and try to separate the twist a little bit to give yourself a little bit more volume. Go in with your edge control. I use the Dr. Miracle's edge control. It's okay, but I have to go back in and lay my edges down with the scarf. So you'll see me doing that, just applying the edge control, laying it down with the mini boar bristle brush, and, you know, just adding more where I feel like it's needed. I didn't want to go for a super sleek look right here, but... Yeah, just add what you think is needed for your look. Like, I could have taken it there and laid all my baby hairs down, but I just decided to go ahead and wrap it up with a scarf. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take it down and start on my next style. So, this next style is like a pompadour style. So, I'm going to go back in and just make sure that I'm detangling everything with that wide tooth comb. Then, I'm going to gather the back of the hair up. Mostly the back section. And put that in a hair tie. Then I'm going to go in and work out the front. Brush it down. Smooth it out. Add a little edge control and bobby pin. So you want to make sure that you're pinning the sides as if you were doing a mohawk. And then you just want to gather the middle and roll it back. And as you can see, my hair isn't long enough to tuck it all the way. So I'm just using extra bobby pins for security. Then I go back in the back to smooth everything down. Once again, because the first ponytail I made was super messy. So I just go in with the edge control. Mold my hair down in the back to make sure there's no naps back there. Then I go in and make that a nice, sleek, neat ponytail. Then with that ponytail, I'm going to go in and two-strand twist that, roll it up into like a little bun, and then tuck that, attach it to the pompadour. Go back in with your edge control if you see any frizzy spots that you want to lay down. And my hair was super frizzy today, so I had to use a lot of edge control for this style, but it turned out pretty good just for me to be, you know, going on a whim. So yeah, tie your edges down with a scarf, hold it down for about 10 or 15 minutes, dance a little bit, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next style. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Uh, this is going to be my last style. 
So now I'm just going in and taking those bobby pins out, push, brushing everything to the front, and grabbing that scrunchie and tying it all together. I can't use the small ones because they pop on me. But yeah, so this is the finished look. Just a little messy ponytail. It kind of reminds me of those hats, the leather hats that have a little fur at the top. But yeah, thanks so much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below if you like it. Thanks.